Vancouver Island. Situated on the west coast of Canada, it's home to one of the rarest mammals in the world. No, not these cows. I'm talking about the Vancouver Island marmot. Now numbering in the hundreds due to recovery efforts, the population pales in comparison to the thousands of musicians who call the island home. In this series, I'll introduce you to a few of them. The musicians, not the marmots. Hello! Welcome to Edgestone Studios. Today in the studio, I have Rob Fillo. Hi, Rob. How are you doing? Hi. Good. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. So, uh, tell me, what type of music do you play? Oh, I don't know anymore. I do whatever <laughs> I, I feel like, but mostly it ends up being sort of a contemporary folk vibe. But the last two songs, including the one that's actually coming out um, October 18th, 2024, for whoever's watching this, whenever... Uh, are like hard rock songs. Oh, nice. Um, and then I'm working with an amazing uh, arranger named Jody Onuma, who is doing arrangements of other songs of mine for choirs. So we have one that is coming out within the week called We Choose Love, which is a song of peace and hope. Uh, and it's been arranged for everything from Unison Children's Choirs to SATB with a children's choir, so an adult choir and a children's choir singing together with a chorus of we choose love which is a beautiful sentiment these interesting times so what song are you going to play for us first and what's it about so the first song that i'm going to play for you is kind of a amalgamation of two songs i've been opening up my shows this way because it's um it feels like i'm singing my own version of the canadian national anthem it's called canadian lullaby and it's a very heartfelt song that really resonates with me about the Canada that we're leaving behind. There's so much change going on in the world. And as we're sort of moving forward into this um, change that is sometimes tumultuous um, and sometimes very much necessary, we're leaving a lot of things behind. And it sort of romanticizes the trains and the farming and the fishing industry and stuff that is teetering or, or we're losing it. Right. And it, it laments the Canada that we're losing with high hopes for the future. And that little beginning snippet leads into Home, which is a song about me being separated uh, from a loved one and uh, wanting to come home in Canada. Great, well, let's get to it. Let the rain fall down upon us. Let the fields grow tall. Let the farmers rest their weary heads A Canadian lullaby And let the trees grow up around us Let the seas never run dry let the sailors rest in their warm, dry beds A Canadian lullaby And let the trains feed our fair cities Let the children never need cry let our mothers be blessed as they blessed us, a Canadian lullaby. And let the people stand for their freedom. Be proud and hold your heads high. No one can break the spirits we make, Canadian lullaby, Canadian lullaby, Canadian lullaby. Try not to write any topical song 
songs Cause the fever of the moment never lasts that long But my heart grows heavy while my brain is bare Now all my time and money is spent Trying to make it back home Well, it's been getting pretty lonely in a beautiful cage Some mix of deep depression and caveman rage I need to hold you close, need to breathe your air yeah, I miss the touch of your fingers and the smell of your hair So I'm going Just getting fuzzy on my radio I'm driving 40 miles an hour in the raging snow Cause the squirrels in the attic started making sense Whispering never trust the government uh-uh. So I'm going home Honey, I'm coming home Seems to crumble in the pain and fear So there's only one thing I can think to do I need to find my way back to you So I'm going coming home So today you're playing just acoustic and voice but do you often play with other musicians and within arrangements of your songs then or all sorts of different arrangements and different instruments um, add and subtract musicians as they come and make things happen. Yeah, awesome. It's very hard for me to focus on one genre. I've been totally, um, I've been critiqued uh, by uh, the people in the the biz that I, I can't just stick to something uh, that people can recognize as my right. genre. But I mean, life is short. You gotta have fun, and I think people who like my music and like what I'm doing, they they they're interested in me right and what interesting thing i'm coming up with next so that's pretty special and as they say variety is the spice of life right? it is so, it so is i'm, not, I'm more of you. a person and less of a brand so how long have you been playing music i've been playing music forever uh, i remember being about five years old and just being obsessed with the melody to green sleeves it was <laughs> nice. my lullaby and my joy and it brought some kind of strange sense of appreciation of nature and uh i think i mean i wouldn't know at the time but some, some something to do with um the nature of physics and the physics of sound and how beautiful that is interesting yeah your five-year-old brain couldn't put that together but there was something no. going on yeah what am i doing what am i vibrating and why does it feel so good okay so who, who would you say are your biggest influences 
my biggest influences, I always come back to Tom Waits because when yeah. I first heard Tom Waits, it opened my mind up to something outside of commercial music. And even though some of my songs do have some commercial sort of leanings, I, I don't specifically write to get famous and I don't specifically write to make money. I write as a, um, a therapeutic device. It helps right. me make sense of a wild and wacky world that we live in. And sometimes my frustrations with society cannot be sort of dealt with any other way. Something happens when you write a song and you connect emotions to words it just helps me let go and be like, yes, I explored that feeling. I explored that frustration. And now I have made this. I don't know exactly how it lines up, but I feel better. And that's what counts, right? Cool. <laughs> yeah, I can I can hear the Tom uh, Waits influences really? in your style of singing somewhat. Uh, definitely appreciate his storytelling. It's just so good the way yep. he puts it together. So yeah, yeah, and I love his the way that he has that sort of natural voice. I often try to just let my voice be whatever it is and try not to copy people, which is difficult because yep. we all like to mimic. Yep. Um, also, lately I've been a big fan of Elliot Smith. Uh, mm. His songs can be a bit morose, as they're known for, but um, as far as production, he did a lot of production, especially his early work, just on his own in a room with a tape deck, like right. recording, and to listen to his perfect vocal doubles to give his vocals that bigger, fat sound, and his perfect guitar stereo recordings, where he'd record guitar once, and then he'd put in the left channel, and then he'd record guitar amazingly precise, but not perfect on the other channel and it just makes this beautiful intimate sound so yeah. i'm trying to get more into doing home production because yeah, as you know perfect. you know costs are high everywhere and if you can do a lot of the work in the studio or in your home studio then when you go into a pro studio like this one then you, you can at least have scratch tracks or demo tracks ready to yeah. make the work process a lot faster. yeah it definitely makes uh it more value your time more valuable in the studio you don't waste as much time with things that would cost you more yeah so i'm idea. learning good idea what song are you going to play for us now? Well, the next song I'm going to be doing is called Love Aligned. And it's a song about reflections on how we're all being sort of divided by different various identities. Are you a Republican or a Democrat? Are you this? Are you that? What boxes do people fit in? And people are so happy to divide and try to conquer each other these days when really I think it's about blurring the lines of identity and realizing that we're all spiritual beings in a mortal experience and the only real alignment we need to focus on is being love aligned and does your politics or do your opinions align with love cool yeah i can't wait to hear it When the love down deep in your chest Gets eclipsed by the steel in your eyes And the temperatures start to rise In your mind, in your mind Then the media cuts at you deep Propaganda enters your sleep Till you can't find the tears to weep You're on fire, you're on fire Put down the gun, you're not fooling no one You're just scared, so am I Cause it's not fun In a world they say is ready to die Come alive, love alive Then identity's thrown in the way There's restrictions on words you might say Made to tangle your thoughts more each day Free your mind, it's okay Cause the monsters that rule broken streets At least for now they're all made out of meat when the ignorant screaming has ceased We will rise, we will rise Put down the gun You're not fooling no one You're just scared, so am I
Cause it's not fun In a world they say is ready to die Come alive Love alive And I know that the future is gonna be fine Given time Cause all we know is a construct of our hearts and minds So come alive Love alive What part of Vancouver Island are you from? I'm out by the university uh, in Victoria, so right. sort of that end of town. I like it. It's it's busy now. Uh, <laughs> I only got there three years ago, but it seems to be getting busier and busier with more and more construction. But it keeps me out of the downtown core, and the downtown core is a bit of a sensory overload. So are you in Oak Bay, or are you in Saanich? I think it's called Gordon Head. Yeah, that would be Saanich. Saanich? Yeah. Okay. So in Greater Victoria, there's 13 municipalities in that whole region. Yeah, so it's a bit of a nightmare. That's so. yeah, it's very divided up, and I think each one of those districts like has its own mayor and its yep. own council. Yep, and... yep, completely different it's cities. Wild. Basically, they're just not called cities. We call them municipalities here in Canada, folks. So, uh, what's your favorite thing about living on the island? Um, what is my favorite thing about living? Or on the do island? you have one yet? Because you're a recent transplant, aren't you? Yeah, I followed my family here uh, in the post-COVID days. So only about three years ago. Um, they were already here and established and I thought, you know, I've had enough of, uh, the busy city and I'd tr try to move to the less busy city, which is getting busier every day. Yeah. Um, I think there's a strange magic on Vancouver Island. Um, not to harp on COVID cause I know nobody wants to talk about that anymore, but, uh, <laughs> honestly, I got a COVID test when I was sort of hitting rock bottom during the isolation period and I was, I was clear. So I came over to the island and I decided to go live down back logging roads for a long time. <laughs> wow. I had canned goods. I had uh, my camping stove and my axe. And I just drove into the middle of nowhere. And I had amazing adventures and met very strange and beautiful people in the middle of nowhere during a pandemic down logging roads, hiding out and camping. And uh, it was a really special time. And I have a book coming out about it in March. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah it just finally got, uh, it's called Forest Song. That's the working title. It might just be the title unless we come up with something better. The book is about yeah. me going down logging roads and, <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, meeting strange people and wonderful people. Wow. And it was really good. So we won't tell anyone that you were squatting on Crown Land and Forestry Land. For oh, you could tell everybody. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I, I uh, left things better than they were in every situation, it's, you know, as the Boy Scout way. And, yeah, uh, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, yeah, I didn't ruin anything. I didn't uh, vandalize anything, but I had an amazing time. And uh, yeah, it's all in the book. So you've played a couple songs for us, but I would love to hear a third one. What would you like to play for us for a third song? We get to do a three-peat? Yeah. All right. You're well, I feel very, very special. Um, I just want to take a second to just say I'm so grateful for you having me here at Edgetone Studios, and I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to my music and do all the amazing work you do here with the cameras and the sound. I've watched you do some amazing juggling acts today in the Thank tech you. field and the uh, the arts field as well, of course. Thank you. And I appreciate I, it, and and I enjoy it. It's been great working with you. So, what's the last song here? Well, the last song we're going to do is called Better Man. I was going through a really hard time and uh, a big life-changing sort of period of time in my life. And I went out into the forest and I asked the trees for some answers. Now, trees don't really speak English, but uh, from what I gathered, uh, they had some advice and some wisdom. If only a little bit of wisdom that I could hold on to and maybe even just a little bit of maturity if I can have that. Um, and uh, I wrote the song yeah, called Better Man. Cool. Let's get to it. You got a pretty smile, won't you? Sit and rest a while and I could ramble off the things I think I know. But I might just be a fool 
Cause I've let the darkness rule Too long might be better If I said oh Gotta work through all these shadows On my own To be a better man now A better man for me But it's time I set you free And I understand now Just why you couldn't stay In leaving me You helped me find my way Now you make an easy lean And I'd like to keep you keen But I'll take and take And tell you you're not giving And now I see my mistakes And though it makes my belly ache I've grown tired of dying It's time that I start living To find that world where I could raise my children be a better man now a better man for me you help me out but it's time I set you free and I understand now just why you couldn't stay in leaving me you helped me find my way I still got steps to take and sometimes I think I'll break but the love you gave me Helps me push on through And as we both move on with I hope you like this song I'm so grateful for the time I spend with You opened up my eyes to see what's true And I'm a better man now better man for me You help me out But it's time I set you free And I understand now Just why you couldn't stay find my way Well you got a pretty smile, won't you sit and rest a while and I could ramble off the things I think I Where can people find you on social media or online? You can find or in me person. everywhere. <laughs> I am an omnipotent presence uh, on uh, online. I'm on all the major streaming platforms and all the major social media. Um, you can also get a hold of me and find all those links at www.robfillo.com. Robfillo.com. 
Excellent. I'll put all those links below so that uh, go check out Rob's other uh, songs and his other work on uh, streaming services, but also uh, check out his Instagram and other socials, whichever one you're on. I appreciate it very much. Uh, what's coming up in terms of shows or recordings or releases? I have lots of shows all the time. I have a really good booking agent, which keeps me busy. So you can definitely find those all on the website. Um, I have a lot of music and everything coming out. I can't think of it all because it gets overwhelming. So I just kind of do one step at a time. But I know that October 18th, uh is the release of troubled times which is a hard rock epic song featuring a drum solo who has a drum solo anymore yeah awesome uh, i didn't play it uh cameron p lawrence played it he's the producer on that song then i have a recorded studio version that i uh, was a sort of a studio outtake but it sounded so beautiful that we had to keep it of better man the song that a lot of people heard nice. today um that's coming out hopefully i'll put that out in november i usually try to do some sort of a christmasy holiday song every december but i don't know how that's uh, coming along we'll see what happens cool so and then uh the book comes out in march that's amazing so lots of stuff coming out i want to thank you again rob for coming in today spending some time with me putting up with me moving all the gear around that was awesome. and uh doing some recording and sharing your stuff with the world yeah. Well, it was a real honor and a pleasure being here, and I, I do want you to know I'm very grateful for you having me. Thank you. Cheers. See you, everyone.